Hi, I'm Joe James. In this video, I'm going to show you some creative new uses for this awesome tool that we have called GitHub. Now first, some key features of GitHub. GitHub is a code repository, so it's basically a cloud backup for all of your code. You can upload code anytime you want up to the cloud and it will save this backup of your, of your code. And it also has version control. So as you make edits to the code, you can merge those edits into your original code and you can always revert back to any previous version you want anytime. It also supports open collaborative development, I'll call it. So crowdsourcing, you can involve as many people as you want in the development or as many people as you want can edit a certain file at a, at a given time. And they can merge in changes. So you branch out and then you merge back in those changes. You fork and merge. And you can involve customers, your partners in development, whoever you want. You can also distribute the work across multiple people, across multiple continents, whatever. So GitHub is just a fantastic tool for all of these things, and it's lightweight. So forking it does not involve making a full new copy of every file in the repository. So GitHub is this great tool. You're probably already familiar with it. I'm not going to show you in this video how to use GitHub. Instead, I'm going to show you what people are doing, creative new uses for GitHub. So first, one important point. You can merge changes in GitHub only with text files. It only works with text files. It does not work with binary files. So Word, Excel, and PowerPoint are all binary files. So you cannot merge changes for these types of files. You can store those files in a GitHub repository, but you cannot merge in changes for those files. So basically, Markdown has emerged as the most popular rich text format. It basically replaces a word format for GitHub. So if you want a rich text formatted document, you use Markdown. So here's my list, and I'm going to go through these one by one. I have examples of every one of them. This is a list of what people are doing with GitHub, so creative new uses. Project management. So GitHub has some built-in project management features. I'll call these native GitHub PM features. The key one being issues. So you can track, you can assign issues, questions, bugs, enhancements. And here's a link to uh, the project management page on GitHub where you can see the uh, details on that. Other GitHub project management solutions, these are third-party solutions. Waffle.io, Whoboard.com, Zenhub, CodeTree, Zoob, and Issue.sh. These are all third-party GitHub project management solutions. So you can see there are a variety of different options available for managing projects right on GitHub. Live Websites is another important new application for GitHub. And this is called GitHub Pages. So a static site can be hosted on GitHub. In other words, no active backend scripts. No PHP, no Python, no Ruby, no SQL backend. But you can host HTML and CSS code on GitHub. You can host a whole website. And it can be served directly from GitHub. It can be updated directly on GitHub. And so some popular static web hosting authoring tools, Jekyll and Prose.io, these tools support authoring rich websites directly on GitHub using the GitHub Pages function. And you can read more about that here at uh, pages.github.com. Another big one is geographic data, and this is using GeoJSON maps. GitHub supports rendering GeoJSON and TopoJSON map files within GitHub repositories. So you can have these files stored in a GitHub repository, and when people want to go and view these files, in your repository, they'll actually be able to see the map rendered in the repository. So you, all you have to do is commit the file as you would normally commit any file to GitHub using a .geojson or .topojson extension. And there's more detail on that at this URL. Datasets. This is pretty obvious. It's pretty easy to store and update any CSV, JSON, XML or text files directly onto GitHub. So one example is this site here called uh, Awesome Data that has a big huge collection of open source data sets that you can take a look at and you're, you can access those directly on GitHub. 
I think GitHub is more and more becoming a repository for data storage. Books. Are you writing a book? Do you want to use real-time backups with revision history so that you can instantly revert back to any previous revision of your book? Gitbook.com is basically a program that is written around GitHub to leverage all of GitHub's features as a repository so that you never have to worry about losing your data. Recipes. GitHub is great for open source recipes. It lets users add different variants. So again, crowdsourcing idea here, integrated into recipes. You can get people to uh, vote on recipes or give input on recipes. And one good example of that is this Hadley site, github.com slash hadley.recipes. Musical compositions. You can actually post musical compositions. GitHub is probably not the best tool for composing music with, but here Helio FM is an open source music creation tool. And it also supports version control for your, your music creations. Lessons and tutorials. Okay, I'm going to use myself as an example. Here I have a whole bunch of PowerPoint slide decks posted in my own GitHub repository here. Of course, I post all my Python and Java code on GitHub as well under github.com slash joeajames. And then in the useful utensils folder, I add all my PowerPoint decks and uh, whatever other kind of uh, tutorial data I have. Government. Now, the U.S. government is one example. They have a ton of data, especially Congress. So there is an organizational chart of the entire U.S. government. There are photos, bios, voting history, district maps for all of the congressmen. There's a, even a history of district maps using these mapping features. And there's a whole bunch more. There's a ton of data from the U.S. government at github.com slash United States. Laws. Surprisingly, all German federal laws are posted in one repository in GitHub. And I'm not even going to try and pronounce this. Bundestag is... Okay. But this is pulled from another source. It's converted from an XML format into a markdown format, which, like I said, is a pretty popular format on GitHub. And all of the German federal laws are stored in this one repository. Legal documents. One example is a Silicon Valley law firm, Fenwick & West, they shared some seed round funding contracts so that early stage startups can use their legal documents to get started with. And you can find those at github.com slash series seed slash equity. There are other repositories on GitHub that store uh, different types of legal documents. And that's becoming a more popular thing because it's easy to track edits and make changes and merge changes. So that wraps up this video on alternative uses for GitHub. If you know of other ones that I didn't mention, please post them in the comments below. I hope you liked this video and I hope it was helpful for you. If so, please click the thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I'm Joe James. Thanks for watching.